thank you. First of all, uh, let me say that I'm very honored and happy to be standing with this broad cross-section of leadership, uh, particularly in the community that began a struggle for liberation and fatness in this location 43 years ago. It is very important that we came here and stand here as we announce this. There has been through the years where we would have a occasion where Stewart would come and march with us or rally with us and others would come. I remember when I ran for president, uh, Alan Ruskoff brought me through the bars down here and people wanted to know what I was doing here. I guess it's because I don't drink I was. Uh, <laughs> But today we are going from dating on activist occasions to a marriage of the communities that have come together around this march. Let it be clear when you see this, it will begin Father's Day as we stand together on Stop and Frisk, but it will not end there because we will usher in an era in this city and nation where people understand there is no such thing as selective civil rights activism. Wow. You must be for the civil rights of everyone, or you're not for the civil rights of anyone. And and the separation and tribalism of activists that we only stand or we only rally or we only march when it's our tribe will end when we come down Fifth Avenue together uh, on Father's Day to make a statement about stop and frisk as it applies to African Americans, Latino, lesbian, gays, transgender, all of us are being harassed for the same reason. And that is that there are those in law enforcement that feel that civil rights does not apply to them. And we must fight this together and then fight in other areas across the board where there is discrimination. This spot, this historic spot, Stonewall, it symbolizes that for the lesbian and gay and transgender community, just as Selma symbolizes that for African Americans and just as other places, Vieques once symbolized that for Latinos until we closed it. But, <laughs> but now we must all see each other's spots as spots of hope for all of us. And that is why it was important that uh, we come, Ben Jealous and George Gresham and I come to not, not just announce this on the steps of City Hall, but come here to embrace and openly say, this is a coalition that we will continue to go forward together. The dehumanizing aspect of Stop and Fritz, that some people are treated differently based on who they are, must stop. And that is why this march is happening on Father's Day. We right now, in this city, a black child, a white child, a Latino child, a straight child, a gay child is being born. What makes one of them a suspect and another one of them a citizen? We need to all be treated as citizens and we need to all be seen the same way. That is our appeal to the mayor, that is our appeal to the police commissioner when we march in silence down Fifth Avenue. Why march in silence? Because we want our very presence to be a statement. And when they see a statement of different kinds of New Yorkers walking together, then you cannot confuse us with saying, with having someone at the back of the line say something that does not deal with the theme of the day. Our presence, our walking in coalition, our alliance, our standing together is in itself a statement. And that will be the resounding statement that will resonate around this nation come Father's Day afternoon. Let me also say that it is important that we not only come together but stay together because these issues will not go away unless we have a coalition that is glued together and this is what is happening here. That Friday, uh, the, it is the celebration of lesbian and gay and transgender pride day at the White House. And we will be there that Friday and together leave and come back to New York to organize on the 17th. I remember in 2004, 
when I came out in support of same-sex marriage, some of our my fr friends in the clergy said, I don't know, Al, if you could come to my church now because our members won't understand. I was glad to see that it led to our continued activism in Nash Action Network and talk to the President of the United States as he made that historic announcement that he was supporting it. It is always activists that will take the risk that move our society forward. These activists that stand with us, these organizations that stand with us, are those that made the city and nation deal with fairness for the lesbian, gay, and transgender community when it wasn't popular. And those are the people that will help us to, to stop the stop and frisk in this city. Activism is not about winning a popularity contest. Activism is not about looking at public polls. It's about changing public polls. We shape public opinion, not respond to public opinion. And as we expand this, it will happen, and it will happen in a short order of time. So we're here together, we're standing together. To us, this ground represents hope to us that we can overcome, because look at what those activists did 43 years ago. They did it for all of us, and we're going to stand together for all of us on Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you.